Okay, uh, what if we have multiplication or division problem? Well, uh, here is an example. So right now what I got is 4 times x equals 20. By the way, that's what, whenever you have a number next to a variable, like 4x, the operation is multiplication. So this says 4 times x equals 20. Now, maybe in your head you can already tell, well, 4 times 5 is 20, so x must be 5. And if you're thinking that, yes, you are right. Um, but let's pretend we didn't notice that right away. Then we would use inverse operations, by the way. Opposite of multiplication is division. So that's what I want to do right now. I want to divide. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So that's what I'm going to do here. Let's go ahead and divide by, get my yellow color back, there we go. Divide both sides by four, which when I'm showing my work, I just use, I turn it into a fraction. Turns out fractions and dividing are basically the same thing. Anyway, that's how I like to show my work. Let's divide both sides by four. And why can't I get the color black here? What is going on? There we go, okay. Um, so 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 1 times x is just x. So that's the, the longer way to understand it. Um, 4 divided by 4 is 1. I'm left with just 1x down here, which is great because I've isolated the variable. x is now totally by itself over here. So all I have to do is divide the other side by 4, and I'm done. 20 divided by 4 is... Five. And so my answer is five. Okay, what if you are dividing? What if you're dividing the variable? Well, let's look at this example here. So just like I said, fractions and division turns out they're basically the same thing. Um, this says it looks like a fraction, but this says z divided by three is fifteen. Something something divided by 3 is going to give me 15. Well, I want to use the opposite of division. Let's use multiplication. So I'm going to multiply by 3 on both sides, times 3 times 3. These opposites cancel out. So 3 times z over 3 cancel those out, leaves me with just z, which is exactly what I want. Let's keep track of my equal sign. On the other side of my equation, because what I do to one side, I have to do the other, uh, 15 times 3 is 45. That's it. So it looked like a big scary fraction was really just one step. Multiply both sides by 3. Um, okay, well, we have one more example that presents itself from time to time, so we should take a quick look at it. What about something like two-thirds times x equals eight? What do we do in this kind of situation? And, well, this is a multiplication problem, two-thirds times x. Two, or the opposite of multiplication is division. I have to divide both sides by two-thirds. Now, if you remember, with fraction, if we are dividing fractions, the trick is to actually multiply by the reciprocal, which sounds kind of scary, but uh, here is what we're going to do. The reciprocal is just taking the numerator and denominator and switching them. So if you ever have a fraction times a variable, then what you ought to do is just flip it there you go, I just flipped it. And we're going to multiply times 3 halves and times 3 halves. Now, I don't actually have to do anything on the left side of my equation because I know that that's going to cancel out and leave me with just my variable x. So often in the algebra world, I'll cancel out the 3s, then I'll cancel out the 2s. And then the x is the only thing that I'm going to keep. Everything's canceled, bring down the x. On the right side of my equation, I have to do 8 times 3 halves. 
Um, when I'm multiplying fractions, I just go straight across. So really it looks like this. 8 over 1 times 3 over 2 is really what that looks like. 8 times 3 is 24. 1 times 2 is 2. So my answer is 24 halves. Turns out I can reduce that fraction. Or again, I can just treat it like a division problem. 24 divided by 2. If you put that in your calculator, you get 12. x is equal to 12. OK. And team, if I'm being honest, right now, if this part was confusing to you a little bit, that's OK. But what's super important is that you are making sense of these kinds of problems, as well as these kinds of problems. All right, team, thanks for playing.